Hey there, fact lovers, I'm Ellen. And I'm Ben. And today we have some hot and steamy sex facts. They're mostly about animals and brain chemistry. Yeah, and those are things that really turn me on. Really? I don't know. Can we start? Mm hmm. Did you know that birds and bees aren't really that sexy? Most male birds don't even have a penis, and after drone bees mate with their queen, their penis explodes. Their penis explodes? Yup. And then it grows back or something, right? No, then they die. Well, at least they go out with a bang. Did you know that those chills you get from a good song are kind of like your brain getting laid? Music and sex both release dopamine into the brain, and your brain experiences similar pleasure when anticipating an orgasm or waiting for the drop. Here's a map of each state's most Googled Valentine's Day gift. Texans looked for discount sex toys and plus-size lingerie. Californians wanted heart-shaped sunglasses and bondage kit. Iowans went for the adorable and innocent tandem bicycle. And Kentucky wins the prize with couples tattoos and songs to f*** to. Kentucky, you kinky Casanova. In 2008, archaeologists discovered a 7th century sex curse. Is this something we should be worried about? In the ancient city kingdom of Cyprus, the following curse was found written on a lead tablet. Are you sure you want to say this ancient curse out loud? May your penis hurt when you make love. Oh. Well, I don't have to worry about that one. Oh god, what have I done? Men and women typically have different needs just after sex. After a woman has an orgasm, her body releases large amounts of oxytocin, which increases the need for bonding and may make her want to cuddle. Meanwhile, men get a surge of pleasure that's equal to about 3 milligrams of Valium, putting him quickly to sleep. So compromise a little. Maybe a cuddle nap is in order. Sex has a lot of benefits, like, you know, sex, but it's also good for your health. Researchers have found that having frequent sex strengthens your immune system. So just take a sex and call me in the morning. Who do you think has the most sex? Rabbits. Smart people. Smart rabbits. Multiple studies have shown that smarter people have more sex, stay up later, and do more drugs. And smarter rabbits eat more leaves, hop more seductively, and do things to each other with carrots. <laughs> You like that? Oh my god. <laughs> like that? Authors of erotica have the most fun. According to an online poll, about half of erotica writers say they've had sex, quote, as research, trying out sex in different places with different techniques and toys. About 76% say they based a sex scene on a real life experience. So to protect your privacy, always ask your sexual partner if they are now or may ever become a writer of erotic fiction. Or nonfiction. Ooh. Males across many species use sex to sort of stake their claim on a partner. A study found that a male who finds a female partner exceptionally attractive will try to have more sex if there are a lot of other males around. So if a man finds a woman particularly attractive and she has lots of male friends or co-workers, her partner is likely to experience a sort of jealous horniness. Which is actually the title of my new book, available soon on Amazon and Audible. I am not gonna read that. Well, you better, cause you're in it. What? <laughs> oh no, how? Even if you were literally born yesterday, you've probably heard a slang term for sex. But people have been slinging sexy synonyms for centuries. Some pre-19th century terms included fadoodling, horizontal refreshment, having your corn ground, playing at couch quail, and everyone's favorite, riding a dragon upon St. George. So does George call his penis a dragon? And then I'm the, I'm riding it? You're in, in on this? No, I'm trying to figure out what the metaphor you is. You were having sex back then? Let's move on. And those are our facts about sex. Like our video and subscribe to Did You Know? And subscribe to our channel, Friend Dog Studios. What do you think riding a dragon upon St. George is? Tell us in the comments below. I have to know. You gotta know. Is there an actual dragon involved? It's about St. George's whereabouts in his place in the kingdom is what it really is. Oh, so it's a metaphor about sex that's a metaphor about power. And the feudal system. Oh my god.